Now to a WGN exclusive. The U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations is in Chicago today working on solutions to a crisis threatening international stability, a food shortage. And WGN's Mike Lowe sits down for a one-on-one -on -one interview with one of the nation's top diplomats to discuss the global hunger crisis and her approach to diplomacy. U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations Linda Thomas-Greenfield is in Chicago today to deliver a message to the Midwest that while it's easy to get lost in our own little worlds, it's important to think globally. The bottom line is this, we're all in this together. Ambassador Linda Thomas-Greenfield delivered an address about the world hunger crisis to the Chicago Council on Global Affairs and sat with WGN News. Today on the farm as I was picking little peppers and vegetables. And things. For an exclusive interview. Prior to the pandemic, there were something like 650 million people dealing with food insecurity. That number skyrocketed during the pandemic. To me, it seems like more of an issue of priorities than resources. What is, what is it you want to tell people about how we can solve this problem? It is a, an issue of, of priority. First and foremost, COVID. COVID impacted the supply chain, and that has raised our prices uh, for just ordinary food stuff significantly. Secondly, climate. The impact of climate on food insecurity is, is a global issue. Add to that conflict. And hunger can lead to conflict, right? I, I know you've quoted Ralph Bunch, the great UN leader and civil rights leader who said, there's no peace without bread and rice. Uh, there is no peace without bread and rice. And we see that again every single day. Uh, I'll tell you a very quick story. I lived and worked in Liberia in the, in the 1970s. And uh, Liberia was a relatively stable country until they had rice riots in 1979 that led to uh, eventually a coup d'etat and the country being in conflict for more than uh, 14 years. So without rice, uh, people cannot live. Uh, and uh, it does lead to conflict. International conflict is the question currently confounding the UN. As a permanent member of the UN Security Council, Russia retains the power to veto resolutions and is able to block UN action on the war. What would you say to those of us who watch the UN from afar and might say, it's not a perfect institution, it's what we have, but sometimes it seems ineffective. I will agree that it is not a perfect institution, but it is what we have. It is what we have today to deal with global conflict and peace and security issues. And we're working every day to reform it. My administration has accomplished more than... After four years of Donald Trump's America First policy that saw the U.S. pull out of multiple international treaties and withdraw from the U.N. Council on Human Rights, Thomas Greenfield says she's trying to repair America's foreign relations. As far as how you approach your job and your style of diplomacy, I think one way you could descri describe it is the diplomacy of kindness. Is that accurate? I, I think it's accurate. I, I think most people think when you're doing diplomacy, you have to do diplomacy with a big stick. Uh, I think you can be much more gentler uh, to get what uh, you need. And I, I once heard you say that the most important weapon you have in your arsenal is a smile. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. What, what do you mean by that? You know, I, uh, I, you know, I think people want to see you as a human being. They don't want to see you as uh, an aggressive uh, person who is representing a superpower and you don't have to show them uh, respect. Uh, I think everyone uh, deserves respect. I'll quote the famous uh, Chicago Tribune columnist Mike Royko who said that a pessimist looks at the world as the glass half empty and a Cubs fan looks at the world and <laughs> looks at the glass and says, when is it going to spill? Um, when you look at all the problems in the world, hunger, poverty, violence, war, nuclear pr proliferation, the list goes on and on. How do you look at the world as an optimist and not look at it and say, when is the glass going to spill? It's like, let's roll up our sleeves and, and get the job done. Uh, if you look at the world as a huge failure, why get up in the morning? And Ambassador Thomas Greenfield says that whether it's COVID, conflict, or climate, no single nation can address the problems that affect the entire world. Reporting in downtown Chicago, Mike Lowe, WGN News.